This problem gives us a parallel plate capacitor in vacuum with plates separated by a distance d of 2.5 millimeters. Each plate carries charge of magnitude q. I'll draw the positive plate on the top and the negative plate on the bottom, which means the constant electric field between them would be directed down like this. Part A asks us to find the potential difference delta V between the plates. If we call this potential difference the potential of the top plate relative to the bottom, we can write the integral this way, then realizing the electric field is constant so that it can be dragged out of the integral, and taking a path that's along the electric field gives us this result. We can see that the integral of dL is just the plate separation d. So the potential difference is the magnitude of the electric field times the plate separation d. And when you calculate that, you find that it equals 10,000 volts. I'm going to solve part C before part B, because we know from the definition of capacitance that it equals the magnitude of charge on one of the plates divided by the potential difference delta V. We know both of those numbers, so we can just substitute them and calculate the capacitance to be 8 times 10 to the minus 12 farads, or 8 picofarads. Now for part B, we can calculate the area knowing that the capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor is epsilon naught A over D. Solve this expression for the plate area A and substitute all of the known values, remembering that epsilon naught takes the value I'll write here. When you do this, you find that the plate area works out to 22.6 square centimeters.